this video explains uh, what is the meaning of or significance of d.ts file in uh, TypeScript or JavaScript. So just imagine that you are using old JavaScript library for example jQuery which is written purely in JavaScript and it is not type safe. What I mean by type it is not type safe is that let us say there is a one function in the uh, jQuery which and uh, since it is not type safe even though uh, it is expecting say string we can pass other data types like floats or any other numbers booleans etc and but uh, if you want to program in typescript we expect that all the libraries are it is it is best to have all the libraries in uh, which are type safe so to convert this uh, plain or old js library into types types uh, typescript uh, compatible file or ts file what we will need to do is we will need to rewrite the entire library in uh, .ts extension but that is not the best approach what we can do is we can just uh, declare the types using this d.ts file and then what will happen is that typescript compiler will know what types are expected by this uh, old uh, js library or old js functions and with the help of that you should be able to write the code that is type safe so if you do not add d.ts file what will happen is that your code will not be type safe like you will still uh, keep making mistakes like you will pass incompatible uh, types to the say jQuery library and then your code is likely to break so with the help of d.ts file what we are basically doing is that we are converting this old js library into type safe library but with the shortcut like we don't have to rewrite the entire library all we have to do is just we have to declare the types like okay this is the function this is the type this is the function this is the type and so on and so forth so with that what will happen is that your uh, old js library will become type safe and then that will help boost your development time like uh, you will make lesser mistakes and uh, it will have more benefits to you like that is the main benefit uh, of using the types typescript uh, in your code with the typescript uh, files what happens is you know like what types we have to pass and uh, if you by mistake pass the incorrect or incompatible types compiler will throw the errors i hope this uh, clears the doubts or uh, uh, i hope you uh, it helps you understand uh, why should why why you should use d.ts file or why d.ts file exists thanks for watching this video